Kabupaten. There's a coach. There's no decorations upstairs, really. But everything downstairs is really, really beautiful. Ooh, there's an UGG. Maybe they have the UGGs I want in stock. Let's go look. Okay, guys. Let's, let's do it. We look horrible. Mind you, we woke up at 2 a.m. our time. Yeah. And we have not slept. We did not sleep last night. Um, yeah, anyways, what's your outfit of this? What are you wearing? Adidas. <laughs> Banana Republic and H&M. Cute, cute. I am wearing Old Navy, surprisingly. Old Navy. <laughs> H&M and then my Nike Dunks. Stylish. <laughs>
going to... Guys, we just had our first meal in New York. We ate at Mom's in, I think this is Midtown. Um, my friend Logan recommended it. It's actually like pretty good. Kind of pricey for what it is, but that's New York, you know. But, what would you rate it out of 10? Uh, I'd give it a solid eight. Yeah. There's room, room for fruit. That was pretty good. I would say like seven and a half, but it was pretty good. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Okay guys, it is 5.30 now. I haven't really talked to you guys at all today, but I'm currently getting ready. I just have a couple more things to do and then I need to get dressed because I'm going to a show tonight with one of my oldest friends and Sid is gonna hang out with one of his friends, but oh, it's kinda hot. We just ordered a room service because Sid is going to dinner and I'm not ooh. That's it. Oh yeah. <laughs> and so I'm just gonna eat a little bit before we go, but I've never had room service before, so. Good morning, you guys. Popping you up on. Oh. Never mind, popping up on nothing. Good morning, you guys. I was the worst vlogger yesterday during our trip when traveling here. Um, today is Friday, December 9th, and we left Kansas City, our hotel room, at 4.30 yesterday, but we both slept like horrible. And we had gotten up at like 2.15, 2.30, got ready, went to the airport for our flight, and we departed at like 6 a.m., 6.15. We arrived, we flew into Newark because we were flying United and apparently United doesn't fly into JFK anymore. At least when we were booking the trip, United wasn't flying to JFK. So we flew into Newark and it was like a really good flight, like super fast, super easy. We arrived early and then we took the air train from the Newark airport. Um, and then we came into Penn Station, we got to our hotel. We couldn't officially check in until three, but we dropped our bags off and then just did a little bit of exploring. We're staying at the Doubletree Hilton Times Square South. It was on the lower end of things for New York, especially location-wise. We wanted to be close to a lot of the stuff. New York really is such a walkable city. There's just so much to do, but a lot of the Christmas destinations and just like first time New York things are near Times Square, near Midtown. So we are doing a lot of touristy stuff, but it is the holidays in New York City and it's my first time in New York and Sid's first time. It's not his first time in New York, but it's first time doing all like the Christmassy stuff. But we had like the longest travel day ever yesterday. Sid got in like a 20 minute nap, I'm <laughs> pretty sure, but not long at all. But we almost pulled an all nighter yesterday. We went to bed at like 1 a.m. New York time and we had been up since like 2, 2.30 a.m. our time. So almost an all nighter, but we slept in today. 11.32, but not many things open like shopping wise until 11 anyway. So we're just gonna head out. I think we're going to Soho today um, and then we're gonna figure it out from there. So we are taking the subway today, but it should be fine, honestly. I met up with one of my friends, Logan, yesterday, and he said, as long as like you're aware of your surroundings most of the time, you should be fine, especially during the day. So, haven't been on a subway in a pretty long time. The last time I was on one was in Prague, so. Adidas, Nike, Adidas, h &M. Cute, huh? Comfy. Doesn't look very comfy.
Okay guys, we are in Times Square. It's gotten quite yeah. chilly. We spent the day in Soho. They probably can't even hear anything I'm saying. <laughs> but we spent the day in Soho. I did some shopping, Sid had no luck. Um, but we're back in Times Square. Where are we going, straight again? Okay. But we're back in Times Square because we are going to get Carlos's bakery. Then we're gonna go back to the hotel freshen up a little bit and then we have dinner reservation. So, I'm trying to see if the M&M store is anywhere close. Um, it's on the way. The Harry Potter one's here again, but I guess that's that, the show. That's the show, that's not the actual Harry Potter world. But anyways, Times Square is overwhelming. Seriously, but definitely worth it to come at least one time if you're visiting New York for sure. It's an experience to say the very least. <laughs> for dinner, but I just have my black overcoat. Seriously recommend these so much. My H&M, they keep you so warm. Then I'm just wearing some jeans, old navy. I just got this shirt today from Brandy. Super, super duper cute, little baby tee. I'm wearing a leather blazer. And then my Nike Dunks. And then my Marc Jacobs Snapchat bag. And then all of my typical Anna Louise jewelry, but I pulled out the hoops today. H&M. Mm-hmm. Good fellow. From Target. From Target. These are Old Navy. Cute. And the shoes are Target as well. Cute. And obviously, we got the jewelry. Got the <laughs> you look so good. We are off to dinner. We are eating at the Smith in Midtown. Don't know how far it is, but I think we're going to take the subway. Um, look at us taking the subway. But. I'll catch up with you guys when we get there. And yeah, hopefully it's good. And then tomorrow I really do plan on vlogging a lot because we're doing just like cramming basically everything into tomorrow because it's my birthday. So we're doing brunch, Central Park probably, Bryant Park Winter Village and all of that sort of thing. So catch up with you guys later. There's like no mirrors. I also, guys, also.
Out to brunch with T minus like two minutes to spare. Yeah, five, minutes. five minutes to spare. But wow, I feel like a real New Yorker. No, we actually in a made rush. It, we made a pretty good time today. Out of breath. I mean, New Yorkers probably aren't out of breath, but we're used we'll, to this. We'll have some time to get used to it. But damn, the subway gets you places so effing fast. Man, we're pros at it now. Okay guys, we're at Catch NYC for lunch. It's actually so cute. Like look, that's the view from outside. I think we're in the meatpacking district. I think this is the meatpacking district. Uh, but they do $85 brunch with complimentary champagne. So, are you looking at just the normal menu? This is the cocktail menu. Oh, yeah, okay. I got an afro.
Guys, wait, do I need these? <laughs> I think I need them. <laughs> no, they're a bit big, I think. Here, we put them on. <laughs> the new Apple AirPod Max is just so uncomfortable. This way, you might as well just buy it. <laughs> Wait, I look good right now. Wait, I look good. <laughs> look at all these mugs. Oh my goodness. You guys. Wait. I'm so freaking cute. Wow, and Paris. Do they have any more of the New York one? Here we go. A New York holiday. These are just too cute. Look at the little monogram. <laughs> Let's keep me right there. You guys already know I have the white size 50s that I paid an outrageous amount of money for. Do they look weird? No. You put both of them on and walk around. But I'm trying to get Sid on the bandwagon, but I don't think he's a New Balance guy. So we'll see if he likes them, but I think they're cute. Yeah, I'm 
Okay guys, last little outing in New York. We're gonna be out for a few hours, but it is, five it's only five o'clock. So still a lot of things to do on this Saturday night, but we're headed out, it's still my birthday, obviously, but we leave tomorrow. We gotta leave the hotel by latest seven o'clock to get to the airport, because we fly out at like 10. So we have to board our flight like early on. <laughs> Why am I explaining how to have Anyways, yeah. So we're going out. We're going to go to Central Park, Bryant Park, Winter Village, see the tree again one last time. Maybe do some last minute shopping on Fifth Avenue. Um, yeah, we, I got some really cute things today. I'm wearing two of them. So here, will you? Okay. So scarf is old navy, jacket is Gap Factory. Super cute. Looks just like the Ritzy Super Puff. Beanie is American Eagle. I'm just wearing like a warm thermal underneath. And then I got these pants today from Gap. Super cute leather pants I've been on the hunt for and I think it just looks cute for my outfit. My dunks again and then the Lululemon in the Flatiron District had one of these belt bags left and I've been wanting this for ages. I just sold my other belt bag, the white stripper one, just because I wanted the black one. It's been sold out everywhere so I got my hands on it. So that is the nighttime b-day fit because i was literally wearing boots and a dress all day today so and sid is also just comfy cash so comfy cash i'm gonna regret wearing these pants here in a little bit when we eat so much food at the winter village but i look cute so i don't really care <laughs> this has been seriously guys the best birthday ever um i'm so thankful for this guy right here we did our best I love you. I love you too. Double so, birthday gift. Yeah. Very, very, very exciting and cool. <laughs> Million dollar house, ten houses over here. Hey guys, we are in Central Park. Look. Look at all of these buildings. This is crazy. Wow. <laughs> this park is huge and we're obviously not going to go very far because A, we it's don't know dark, B, it's dark so we can't even see where we're going and C, we have other things that we're going to get to. Um, we just wanted to walk through. I'm sure it's much prettier we can actually see it. But that's where we'll live one day. Oh my gosh, it is actually so chilly as well. But can you imagine living in the top yeah. of that over there, that top of that building? Hey guys, we are at the Bryant Park Winter Village. No, it is so busy, but we're gonna sort of just stroll around. We came here specifically for the food, so. We're gonna stroll around and see what we can eat from each food. Um, yeah, let's, see, let's, let's do, do it. it. <laughs>
get if we don't find any like food here. We'll find something. We'll have to find yeah, something to eat. Maybe we'll go back to this place. <laughs> I would be down. <laughs> they probably have a different menu. Yeah. That one right there is the price for right? I don't want to know. What's up guys? It is 7.45 and Bryant Park Winter Village was a total bus. They were just so busy and the um, food that we wanted to eat was actually closed so we couldn't even eat it. So we walked a few blocks to this little pub called Black Iron Burger. It was actually so good, like nothing too special, but if you're just looking for a quick bite to eat, it was really yummy. And now we are going to head back over to Fifth Avenue and look at the Saks Fifth Avenue Bike Show. And maybe if they're open, go inside and look around. And then just look at the Rockefeller tree one last time. And then probably head back to the hotel, get everything packed. And I don't know, it was honestly like, this is the best birthday I've ever had. New York City is a dream of a city, so. So excited to edit this stuff for you guys. I didn't film a whole lot, but it's my first time in New York. It's very overstimulating, and I just wanted to get a feel for what it was like. But we will definitely be back in the near future, and yeah, I'm excited to piece together all this content for you guys. But we didn't even go to a bookstore either. Maybe we can find one on the way. But yeah, we just were like so busy we couldn't fit everything into it. And obviously, a bookstore wasn't at the top of our priority list, but. the tree so we are gonna watch the light show it starts like every 10 minutes you probably can't hear me at all but how would you rate our trip 9.5 yeah i think it's just sad that everything closes so early but yeah it kind of sucks but we really didn't like actually plan our trip that much which also like prohibited like how efficient we were doing things but we also kind of just wanted to do what we wanted to do watch the light show now. And it's gonna be fun, right? Uh, huh? 